everyone. I'm um, just going to talk about uh, when I had my white collar boxing match. Uh, it's it's coming up to four years since I did my boxing match in front of over a thousand people for charity. So I uh, thought one of the subjects I'll speak about today is uh, my experience, what it's all about and uh, see if I can encourage any other people to if you're looking for a new challenge just to give it a go. Uh, growing up, I'd always enjoy watching boxing because my, my granddad were into boxing. I'd always watched a lot of the fights with him. And um, but by the time I reached early thirties, I'd always I'd always wanted to be honest to get get into boxing. Um, but by the time I, like I say, a lot of time I reached my early thirties, I, I thought it was a bit too late to be honest to get into it. Cause obviously you got to at young age, you got to do your amateur experience, and then. It goes on, you get so many wins, then you go on to a pro fight. But one of the jobs I used to do, I uh, got speaking to one of the blokes where, there, what I was friends with. And uh, as you do, we like, I asked, asked him what we were doing for his couple of days off. He told me he uh, were entering a boxing match. And I, I thought, oh, well, that's quite interesting. And uh, I said, oh, you're, are you like amateur or professional? He says, no, I'm, I'm doing it for white collar, for charity. So up, up until he told me this, I'd nev never heard in my life about anything to do with white collar or anything like that. But around that time, I was, I was looking for a new challenge, what to do. D I just didn't know. I, wa I, wanted, I wanted something what's going to challenge me. Um, I wanted to get back into fitness and my me, me diet wasn't too good to be honest around that time as well so I started asking more questions where the gym was, what he trained at and, and different things like that so once, once I found the information out I got in touch with the gym uh, then I went down uh, when I went to the gym where I did my training uh, God, I, mean, I was quite quite nervous when I before I walked in, because like I said, I'd never done anything like that before. I was quite out, out of shape. So I walked through the door and I was greeted very friendly by the receptionist. So he, he talked me through what they do. Because it's not only, you don't have to do with the white collar, uh, the gym I used to go to. You could just just do it as different classes, uh, the boxing training, which which interested me because I'm thinking, well, I've got no experience, so it will will be good down to go will be good to go down and do some training. So after after we speaking to the receptionist, I uh, took my details and I got signed up, and and then I went for my first class. Uh, when I went down for my first class, I met Ryan. Uh, just were at twenty six RR Fitness. Um, it, the gym's changed since then. It used to be a small gym. What I went to, and since then, it's got quite big. So, I, I met Ryan. Uh, were welcomed straight away. I, I, I did the class at first. Obviously, you ain't got a clue what you're doing. You you just frame punches combinations etc what you think is quite good probably didn't look very good at all you're making a mess of the training he's obviously the people that's been went, went out because i've been going for years uh to that boxing gym and other gyms since and when you when you first go you're not you're not going to be perfect but that's the same as anyone what's ever been to boxing you you don't have a clue what you're doing with footwork punches and anything really you but you learn that over over time so i started off um training a couple two three four days a week and i, I just loved it i just got addicted to it i was going on the bag uh i was doing the technique classes what they do uh just i, I just love i love the i love going it with my new hobby i got addicted to it and i i, I just I just can't wait. One of the things I look forward to uh, after work, or sometimes before work, I did, if I did the morning class. Uh, after a few months uh, going to the gym, I saw that they were advertising for the 
white collar event. Uh, so basically, if, if no one knows what white collar boxing is, what you do is you've got literally limited experience and what you, pretty much what I had at the time. And then what you do is you, you sign up, you have to sell 20 tickets to family and friends or whoever wants to buy them. You then raise as much, minimum 50 pound it were, so 50 pounds. And then uh, what you do is you sign up and you do an eight week training camp. And then uh, what you do is you'll you'll go start doing your uh, technique, building up, up until you're doing sparring, and then up until the nights when you you match someone who's been in your training camp, you're matched against that person on your ability. So I started my training, uh, everything was going well. Uh, I, I went into the sparring session quite nervous because obviously I hadn't done much fighting before that other than if if I had a fight at school many years ago so I went to, went into the went into the training and it, it, I got hit round the back which he's not supposed to do the the guy what I was sparring with hit me round the back and I would I would just I was just trying to get practice technique but obviously cost, a lot of those there were quite quite experienced they were, they were obviously leaving myself open, they were, they were tagging me, that sort of thing. And on the very first sparring session, I, I had my left shoulder uh, tucked around the side because I'm trying to, instead of front on, I'm trying, some advice they were given was to stand sideways. So basically my shoulder took a, a really big pounding um, by one of the guys that were sparring with because you, you spar usually between four to six people a night when you're doing the white collar boxing in your preparation for your actual boxing match so the arm got a battery and it, uh, when I finished the sparring I, I finished the sparring session got swelled up and then it was time to train again or on the bag went and done some more sparring that made it worse and then the day after my my arm fully swelled up uh, so I had to, because I couldn't straighten my arm out, I had to go to uh, the hospital and they at first thought I'd ruptured my bicep tendon because of that swelled my arm. So they put me in a sling, um, went down to see uh, the training team for the white collar boxing and uh, basically advised to do the next camp because you have a medical uh, by a paramedic and if you're not fit to fight on the night, they won't let you on because obviously they don't want you to be in any danger. They'll assess you and do that. So by then, to be honest, I was, pr I was pretty down because I'd, I'd done my week. About, I think it was actually about three weeks of training. I did, I did the training, the technique, the sparring, everything. I was, I was feeling down. To be honest, I, st I, st I stopped going to the gym. It's it's really set me back with the injury, and I just I just decided to have a break and and not go for a while. So about about six seven months have passed. I've not been to the gym. Um, I, w I was missing the training to be honest, and I did I did want to go back uh, to the same gym. Uh, but by then, I found out that they they'd actually moved the gym. It was some it, they closed the old gym down, and then there was a new boxing gym now. So I went I went to that one there. I asked uh, the the trainer see if I, I could go back. So I, d I just did a few classes that sort of thing. Uh, were there for about a month or so, just doing my training. And then I saw them again advertise uh, for the white collar boxing event again, uh, a brand new one. So I didn't, because I got injured, I didn't, I didn't want to be in the same situation again. So what I decided to do were, for nearly four months, was totally dedicate myself to boxing. I probably put a little bit of weight on so I decided what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to train for a couple of months and I'm going to get my fitness good. I'm going to, because I'm, cause I'm not going out, I'm not doing anything apart from boxing. Any money would have spent on going out, uh, for, for drinking or meals or whatever, I'm saving that money and I'm going to invest it in me training. So what I did with the trainer at the gym, I I asked him if he does one-to-one -one training and he said he did. So I put a budget aside for that. I had as many technique classes as I could with him, one-to-ones, pad work, footwork, every. I want I wanted to I wanted to take it serious and I wanted to win my boxing match. So that was one of the goals. The other goal was my fitness. I want I wanted to train so hard. I want to take it serious like an actual professional. So from from day one when I decided to take it serious, I was training six days a week, sometimes twice a day. So I tra I'm doing eight training sessions a week. Also, I wanted to sort my diet out. So I got in touch with a nutritionist. I did the diet. Um, I, I just did everything. I had no alcohol, no sugar. Um, I just ate clean. I, I did every possible thing. Then if, if I would have lost, drawn, win, whatever, I know I've left it all in the ring that night. Also, another goal I set myself was I wanted to raise as much money as I could. Um. One of the other reasons other than challenging myself was one of my friend's son uh, died of cancer. He'd fought it four times and on the fourth time it, it beat him. He was only 13 years old, uh, Bobby. So my goal was to raise as much money for Blue Bellwood charity as much as I could, which I actually did. I, I was the top raiser as well. So very very pleased with that, and uh, made me quite proud of that. And and any any time during training, I, I, I thought oh, it's getting hard. It's I'm exhausted. I've I've just thought about what poor Bobby must have gone through when he had his cancer, that killed him. And I thought what what us guys training for this one night for a couple of months. It's nothing compared to what these kids have gone through. So that always got me through. When if you if you decide to do a boxing match for yourself for charity, if it does get tough, you've got to think nothing. This this is temporary. Nothing compares to what those poor kids have gone through. And just you just have to get on with it and know it's for a good cause. So I started, started my training. First, what you usually do with the white collar boxing training is you'll, you'll learn a few techniques. I mean, I already learned quite a lot anyway previous. But you're always learning. So I took, I took into consideration the footwork, the technique, everything. Every, every like someone give me some advice, I'd always take it on board. If someone had uh, did some sparring with, uh, if if I got hit in a certain place more often than not, I'd ask them how how did you how did you know to do that shot at that right time. So I was always wanting to learn. Um, you you do example you do a hill sprints. You go up five times, down five times, and then you do forty five minutes of sparring. You do um other training fitness uh boxing on the bag pad work you you're training like an absolute professional uh it come you come to the night after the two months of training i did 110 days of training total on my own at the gym and in the white collar boxing uh, camp eight week camp what we did and it was time to have my boxing match. So I went down to the arena. Uh, what you do is you're just mostly relaxing, waiting for your turn to be called before you go out and do your boxing match. 
Uh, one of my friends did my ring walk music, which were great. I had my family, my friends there supporting me. I did the ring walk. Uh, like I say, were absolutely. You felt like a professional. You you went out. You did your ring walk. You went into the ring, and the white collar boxing is three rounds for two minutes. Um, you do a lot more sparring than that to prepare you, but that that was what we did for the white collar. Uh, the guy what I got picked against, what I was matched against, I'd, I'd become quite good friends with him in training camp, so it, it was quite tough to fight him. But I had to put that to one side to put a show on for all the, the family, friends and everyone what come there to see the night and you, you're going to have a, a fight in the ring, three rounds, but at the end you're going to shake hands and then go for a drink or go for a bit of food after and just talk about the great experience that, that you've had. Um, it was a very, very proud moment when I raised, got my hand raised that was the winner. But from the experience, it's not just the... For that, for the charity, what we did it for, it's not just the winning. It's the whole, it's the whole experience. I mean, I met some good friends in my training camp. Uh, we, we were there together. We were, we were training there near enough every single day for two months together. So you get you get really good friends with those people. Uh, you you go in it's, it's it's just it's just an experience of a lifetime you i would suggest to anyone to do not just for yourself if you're looking for a new challenge it's, it challenge yourself uh, if you, if you feel like oh you, you you're way past it you, you, you're not it's it's some it's something if you've always wanted to do boxing white collar boxing is for you you get to learn a new skill you get to up your fitness, you get to change your diet, you, you get to meet new friends, and you have a lot, it gives you a lot of new confidence that you it's gonna bring out of you. I mean, I've, I've kept training, doing boxing training ever since, and this is four years later, I love doing boxing training. It gives you a goal to work, to work towards, and I, the advice I could give you is, have a look in the local area where where you live. Type in white collar boxing. Uh, it should tell you where you can sign up. And I just I just said just get as much out of the experience as you can because what when my boxing match was over and I went back to eating pizzas and having a having a few drinks and went back to normal life. You you you're thinking what on earth just happened <laughs> for the for the last couple of months. But you'll, the experience, what you, what you gain from it, you will cherish for the rest of your life. And you'll look back and you think, I'm so glad I did that, not only for myself, but for the charity of choice. So my advice is just, just with both hands, just go for it. You'll not regret it.